Pokemon Journeys episode 114 revealed some huge information for Ash and the Master's Aid. Not only did we get an intense battle between Ash and Paul, arguably Ash's best rival, we also now know that Ash won't be bringing his old Pokemon. And the first round bracket is officially revealed. I'll begin this video talking about Pokemon Journeys episode 114 and then move on to the special Master's Class preview, which was released following episode 114, including the first round official matchup. Let's hop right into this. So before the rematch between Ash and Paul, Ash pays a visit to Oak's lab in Pallet Town. Here, oh my gosh, to say this part of the episode was nostalgic was an understatement. I watched Pokemon growing up, so seeing all these Pokemon on the small screen again, showing their usual quirks and personalities, yeah, it can make a grown man cry. Like Bayleaf is always running in front to body slam into Ash. Funny enough, the Taurus didn't run over Ash this time. Even Sun and Moon had that one. Yeah, this episode had a lot of nostalgia nostalgic moments, which made this very enjoyable as a longtime fan without confusing the younger audience. It was well done. Also, some of the art and animation in this episode was extremely comical. Like, why the Lechonk is Sceptile walking like that? He's T-posing and walking like he's about to squat up with Ash's Pokemon on Roblox. And Oak walking away from Paul like he's about to take a dump? Man, Paul must have scared the shite out of him because that squatty potty is just too much. But anyways, on to the more important stuff. Ash will only be using his Journeys team for the Masters Tournament. At the beginning of this episode, we see Ash asking his old Pokemon to share their power to help him and his Journeys team train for the Masters 8. Yep, Ash's old Pokemon are returning to take on the Mentor role, helping Ash and his Journeys team compete in the Masters 8. So Ash will definitely stick to his Journeys team for the Masters 8. Oh, but you're still not convinced? Well, Ash's old Pokemon actually divide into five groups to help each of Ash's five Journeys Pokemon. It's fairly obvious that the training is dedicated to the Journeys team. Like Ash's old Pokemon are not the ones getting trained for the tournament. The Journeys team is. And Paul tells Ash to only use Pokemon he'll be using for the Masters 8 in their battle. And guess what? Ash uses his Journeys team for the battle against Paul. Hopefully Ash's decision to only use his Journeys team doesn't get too much hate because the Journeys team can provide some enjoyable battles if you look past some of the missed opportunities. Also, the Ash vs. Paul battle was quite enjoyable. We got callbacks to Drake on grabbing Ash's Pokemon with the back side claw by Gyarados using its tail to grab Lucario. The wind blowing scene looked very similar to a wind blowing scene in the Sinnoh League, and the goodbye scene was very similar as well. The animation was pretty decent, and Ash uses his crazy antics with Dragonite and Draco Meteor. Plus, Lucario and Gengar learned new moves. It was so cool to see the impact of Will O Wisp on a physical attacker like Metagross. Thank you, Infernape. And look, this isn't on the level of Lake Verity or the Sinnoh League Paul battle, but those got multiple episodes dedicated to the battle. Plus, Paul was such a foundational piece in the Sinnoh story, whereas in Journeys, he's merely fan service that most of the younger audience don't even know, and I think he was used pretty darn well. This episode was great if you look past the expectations of the Sinnoh League and Lake Verity. Paul came to help Ash for the Masters 8, and he did. You can see his personality has grown a lot too, while still maintaining his own character. It was nice to see this development, and Ash won. 2 2 1. Let's go! Also, Oak revealed Paul became a gym leader. That's crazy. It's good to see his character grow, and hopefully it continues to grow. He definitely can be a champion level trainer. Now everyone was wondering why Paul wasn't in the Masters 8. Well, it's been officially answered too. He simply didn't want to. That's such a Paul thing to say and do. I really like his character a lot. But anyways, this episode wrapped up with Ash's mom making a cameo, and this was a great send-off episode for Ash to the Masters Tournament. I really enjoyed this episode. It really looks like he's going to go far in the tournament. He beat Paul's Gyarados, which is Lance's ace, which he probably won't even battle. He's battling Steven, and he beat Paul's Metagross. Steven's ace. Also, Ash already beat Wallace, and Wallace claimed he and Steven were on the same level in terms of battling, so yeah, it's possible. And Cynthia is a special case because Ash loses to Paul's Garchomp. This defeat seems like it will be used as a flashback later on when Ash is in a pinch against Cynthia in the semi-finals. Regardless, I am hyped. This installment to the Journey series was pretty great, and being a longtime fan that can recognize these callbacks in the episode made it phenomenal. This really set up Ash's champion road in the Masters tournament. Tournament. Let's move on to the preview. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider. We're almost at 3k. Let's keep it
it up. Okay, so the Journey Special Masterclass preview reveals the official first round bracket. First, we have what everyone knows, Alon versus Leon. We also know Alon will use Chestnut and Mega Charizard X against Leon's Rillaboom and Charizard. Chestnut, while it gets a lot of hate, it gives a great callback to Marin and her Chespin. I wonder if she will return in the next episode. I really hope so. Also, Leon's Gigantamax wasn't revealed, but we do see his Dynamax band on his arm. So I think either Rillaboom or Charizard is going to Gigantamax. Next, we have Lance versus Diantha. Lance shows off his Dragonite and Hydreigon, but it's not known what Pokemon of his is going to Dynamax, but it is confirmed he will be Dynamaxing someone. Lance's third Pokemon, while not shown, is presumably shiny red Gyarados. Diantha, on the other hand, shows her Aurorus and Mega Gardevoir, which also reveals her Mega Evolution gimmick. The third matchup is Iris versus Cynthia. Cynthia shows off her Milotic and Mega Garchomp. It's confirmed and it's exciting. Iris only shows off her Haxorus, but Dragonite could be your second Pokemon. I would love for Excadrill to make a comeback because the two share a very special bond, though her gimmick is not yet revealed. And at last, we have Ash versus Steven. Steven is using Lilligant and Mega Metagross. Finally, one of the few predictions I was right on. Thanks for still watching my videos. Ash is using Pikachu and Gengar, and I think Ash will Gigantamax his Gengar in this battle going off the Masters preview trailer. Also because of the order revealing these matchups in this preview, and because Alon vs Leon is happening first, I think the order the matchup reveals in this preview is the same order of release when they come as Journey's episodes, meaning Ash vs Steven will be the last battle to see. Also, it's cool to note, but the brackets are arranged based on rank order. First place will battle 6th place, 2nd place will battle 7th place, 3rd will battle 8th, and 4th will battle 5th. It sort of makes sense in a way. Also, the end of the preview shows off a playoff style elimination bracket. We already know this is a single elimination tournament, and now we know it's a playoff bracket. This debunks a weird round robin style tournament. I wonder how this will all play out. Though, the bracket gives additional information, such as the possible semi final matchups. I personally see Ash versus Cynthia and Leon versus Lance. Like, Iris is not winning against Cynthia if the writers value their audience's opinions. And yeah, I see Lance getting a redemption rematch against Leon. But of course, Lance vs. Diantha is the most ambiguous one to me, making it one of the more exciting ones in a way, too. This would also set up for Ash vs. Leon if Ash wins against Cynthia, which I think is justified by the Ash vs. Paul battle. Anyways, make sure to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.